Hello, and thanks for clicking thanks on the video. Clicking. We have got a fantastic day here in the swamp. It's beautiful sunshine, We've got no wind. I'm gonna go out and spend a night in the shelter, maybe do some modifications, build some stuff. And I got venison steaks for dinner, uh, baked potato with lime and cheese, or sorry, cheese with lime and chili in it. And uh, yeah, can I have a little party by myself? Should be fun. Stay tuned. Cheers. Just rolling up on the shelter. Don't take long to get hot. Feels like summer, it must be about eight degrees. Well, I was gathering up all this stuff to fill in the gaps in the back of the tarp. I just discovered this huge big rock. So, how cool is that? It's a huge big flat rock. And this bit just broke off the top and I'm like, I'm going to cook my lamb burger or lamb steaks on this tonight. That's going to be perfect. I don't think you can get a flatter surface than that. So, yeah. Chop for that. I'll tidy that up a bit. We've got a big rock underneath this already. But I figured why not have a little back wall <sighs> to hopefully try and draw the smoke towards it <sighs> and to reflect some heat back at us because this fire reflector here. I'm not sure if it actually does anything besides make the camp look a little bit fancier. I think it's possibly too far away from the fire have any benefit whatsoever so as much as it looks pretty well, saying that doesn't look that pretty but yeah it's uh it's not really doing its job so I'm just gonna make this Okay, okay, let's 
see. It's about time I lit a fire. Come on, let's get some firewood. <sighs> I'm going to use the axe. Now we're talking. There's something more satisfying about chopping things up with an axe. Did you see that? That's a good chop. Open for it twice, but That's why you keep your legs out of the way. Did you see that? I really didn't mean that. Straight through the hole. Then I took a break. Top 
tip if you're ever having trouble making feather sticks, especially if it's little wonky branches like this, they've got a bit of a kink to them, uh, thin little sticks. It's just, it can get really hard trying to hold the right angle with your, your knife, so all you do is you get a nice soft log like this, stab your knife in, support it, and you just hold the wood. It's better work now after all this. Yeah, and it means that you're not holding the knife at a set angle to get that perfect cut. You're holding the stick, which is a lot easier because you've got a lot more leverage then. You get really fine feather sticks. That'll do. The mighty axe is unstoppable. Look how many knots are in that. Of course, I might be biting off more than I can chew here. Unstoppable! <laughs> what about this one? Loving you is easy cause you split my wood. Well, obviously doesn't like being sung to. Maybe it's just... I can't sing. Definitely doesn't like being sung to. Okay, so instead of bringing my zebra pot today, I thought I'd try this out. I've seen it in Home Bargains. It is a stainless steel biscuit tin that costs 99p. So it is the cheapest of the cheap. But it's a nice size. And I put a bit of uh, brake cable through it. And I'm going to see how, how she goes. I have a feeling it'll work fine. But yeah, I'm going to make myself some coffee.
that boiling, I'm gonna tuck into sweet and hot beef jerky by Jack Links. Can't beat it. A million uses for these ranger bands. I can hear that's boiling. I should probably start making cutlery before I start cooking. Because I remember the last time I started frying eggs and then I made a spatula. Now I've already started mixing the coffee. It's busy brewing right now. So time's a bit of an issue here. Okay, I was going too fast. Plus I was also using pine, which is just crap. Blame the wood. Yep, it's the wood's fault. Always the wood's fault. Not mine. Okay, there we go. I've finished my spoon. What do you think? Perfect, eh? Alright, so tonight for dinner I've got two venison steaks I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to put some steak season, uh, it's just pepper and garlic and a couple of other things. I'm going to be cooking on a flat rock. I've never actually cooked on a flat rock before, so I'm hoping it goes alright. Um, I didn't really look up how to do it or anything like that, but I 
think it's pretty basic. So I'm going to give that a try, see how it works. And to go with that, I sort of cheated. I prepared this in the house. I got a baked potato wrapped in tin foil. Um, what I like to do when I'm coming out, I find, see if you try and bake a raw potato on coals, it takes ages and it's a bit of a pain. So what I do is I just chuck it in the microwave for five minutes, comes out part cooked. Um, what I've done is I've scooped out the center and I filled it with cheese. It's got, um, what was it, lime and chili cheddar cheese. So it's all stuffed full of that. Chuck it in the coals. Only needs to be in for about 20-25 minutes and just comes out perfect, fluffy, nice thick skin. Um, yeah, I always see where I make the hole for putting the cheese in. I make a little like pointy bit so that I know which way to put it so that it doesn't all drip out and it also makes it a lot easier for fishing it out the fire so that's always a good shout. Um, that's it. <sighs> Legs burning. And to wash it all down with, I got some Ho Garden. It's a medium pale ale. Um, if you've never tried it, 5% does the job. And if that doesn't, I got a hip flask full of Devil's Cup, which is 45% Jim Beam. Let's put that. Ah. Yeah, put that there. Keep turning it. Be jamming. You know what? That rock is absolutely roasting. I think it might be time. I don't know if this is necessary. But I really don't want them to stick. I'm putting some olive oil on it. You ready? Oh, look at that! Stuck, that's good. Whether or not I can flip them without burning my hands is another question though. Every time every time I get near here that is such a hot fire. It's been going for about four hours. Oh maybe three actually. If you've never done a solo camp before, I would really recommend just going out and giving it a try. Like as long as you've sort of mastered the, the simple parts of bushcraft, you know, like how to not chop your legs off and stuff like that, then uh, yeah, I'd really recommend just giving it a bash because you go through a whole bunch of different phases. You know, yeah, you obviously come out here and you're all busy and you're getting everything set up and you're not really thinking about it. It doesn't really dawn on you that you're actually out here alone. Um, then once everything's all done and you settle down, you can possibly get a little bit bored because, you know, that'll happen if you're used to going out with people and things like that. Like I found that about half an hour ago, I was sitting there thinking, hmm, what do I do now? And just stick with it and that'll pass, you'll get busy again, you'll get a second wind, usually it's because you're knackered from, from doing lots like that, you know, after processing all that firewood, 
that's a big pile that's gonna last me more than tonight and tomorrow. It's probably about two days worth, maybe even three. So um, yeah, I was pretty tired after all that. And then, uh, yeah, then you get busy, you start doing this. I cannot wait to get some food. Yeah, my point is, it's very different to going out with a group, and it's it's a much purer experience. You see a lot more wildlife, and you also just get to think about life and everything a lot more. I'm not going to get all deep and philosophical, but yeah, it's good. Okay, I think oh, I think these are about done. Yeah, dinner time. Does life get any better than this? Look at that. Well, I'm gonna eat this. Mmm. So good. Cheers, guys. It's funny, when you tell people you're going out camping in the woods on your own, they think you're nuts. What? That's totally ridiculous. Why would they think that? <laughs> I don't know. This is weird, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like it's a bit not fair, you know. All these people, they go out on their solo camps and they take their dogs with them. And It's not really a solo camp if you're going with your dog, is it? But Although I guess I've got my Dog. Hello. I reckon I would have had dinner. Oh, morning. I got woke up, but it's only, that's about 20 to seven. I don't know if you can hear that goat, but it woke me up, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna sneak out of my sleeping bag and go pretend I'm going hunting, so. I just thought I'd treat it as a sort of survival situation if I had my bow out with me, which I probably would. Um, yeah, that would have been dinner for sure, because I got so close to it. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea I was there. It was only when I actually stepped out onto the 
you know, the grass. It was when I was in the tree line. Didn't have a clue I was there. So, yeah, I, I reckon easy shot. Definitely dinner. So he got a bit of a fright, or she. I think I think it's a girl goat. But anyway, it's an interesting start to the morning. <laughs> What am I going to do today? I'm going to uh, get the fire going, have some breakfast. Probably get some more firewood for the next trip so I don't have to worry when I get here and all this dry stuff. And that's about it. You get to these last little details. That's when you want to be taking away tiny little bits of wood at a time. I've also stopped. You don't push with this hand. You just push with your thumb. So I'm holding the spoon and I'm pushing the knife with my thumb. That way you don't end up taking off too much of the, you know, the neck of the spoon. We're getting there. Yeah, it looks better like that, doesn't it? All right, so for breakfast, I got some steak and ale chunky soup. <laughs> Not your normal breakfast, but you know what? I don't do normal. Another random bit of uh, a tip, if you want to pick up a can and you can't be bothered putting it in a bowl or whatever, you don't want to burn your hands, you just get two little bits of wood and you can pick up the can, doesn't matter how hot it is, they actually act as really good insulators. Okay, that's me all packed up, taking my garbage home. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks.